So every month I make $15,000 from affiliate marketing and the best part about this is that you don't need any money to start and literally anyone can start this. And this is honestly one of the best side hustles to start, especially if you want to work from home or from anywhere else in the world. And so in this video, I'm going to go over exactly how you can start affiliate marketing today and I will be revealing my new updated affiliate marketing strategy so you definitely don't want to miss out. Okay, so a couple of months ago I made an affiliate marketing tutorial on this YouTube channel but since then a lot has changed which is why I'm making this tutorial today. And I can promise you affiliate marketing is one of the best ways to make money online. But anyways, let's get into it. So what exactly is affiliate marketing? So it's basically when you promote a brand's products or services with a specific link that you're given. And if someone was to click on your specific link and sign up, then you would make a commission. So honestly, it's a very simple concept which you will be learning about in this video. So anyways, let's start with the very first step of affiliate marketing, which is just basically picking a topic or niche that you want to promote. So different topics include cooking, fitness, finance, self-development and motivation. So you can really pick anything, but me personally, I would obviously pick finance since that's what I'm interested in. Now, once you've picked your niche, the next step is to actually create your social media pages. And you wanna create an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and also a Pinterest account. And these social media pages are going to eventually help you promote your different links. And I do recommend picking a trendy username in your niche. So for example, I could just pick finance by Sarah 101. So once you're done with that, the next step is to actually find links that you can start promoting. And to actually find these links, you're gonna be using a couple of different websites and I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use each of these websites okay so first I want to show you how to use Clickbank this honestly is one of the best website and it's great for beginners so go on the website and then just click on login then click on create an account okay so once you've done that now just click on complete my profile and basically here just fill out all the information then click on save okay so once you've done that now just click on this icon here and the first thing you have to do is create an account nickname so click on create account then for account type you want to put affiliate then for your account nickname, you can put whatever you want, but I'm gonna put Sarah Finance, sign up. Now, next thing you wanna do is click on this store icon. Okay, so now you're brought to this page and basically here you're gonna see all the different affiliate links. So if you're in the travel niche and you wanna promote travel stuff, you can just click here. And now it's gonna show you some different affiliate links here that you can start promoting. And if you don't like those, you can click on other stuff as well. And also there's so many different affiliate links. So if I click on cooking, basically it's gonna bring me here and you're gonna see a bunch of different things you can promote. So let's say I wanna promote this link. All I have to do is click on promote. Okay, so now it's going to bring you to this page. So now make sure to put your account nickname that you picked before. And as for tracking ID, so what I would recommend you do is put something here that lets you know what you're promoting. So once you've done that, click on generate hop links. Okay, so now you have your affiliate link, which you can actually start promoting later on. Now you're probably wondering, how can I actually track how much money I'm making from each link? So what you want to do is go back here on your ClickBank account and then make sure you click on this icon. So basically this page here is going to show you how much money you make from each link. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to use Clickbank the next thing I want to show you is how to use Amazon Associates and basically with Amazon Associates what you're going to be doing is promoting different products on Amazon so first thing you want to do is go to the Amazon Associates website then what you want to do is just sign up and then you have to create your account okay so once you get to this page here where it says you need to add a website don't worry you don't have to actually add an actual website you can literally just add one of your social media accounts like an Instagram Facebook TikTok or whatever else so I'm just going to click on add and then next okay so anyways once you filled out all the information you're going to be brought to this page here. So if you actually want to start getting affiliate links, what you want to do is click here on product linking, then click on product links. And then here you can actually find a bunch of different products that you can start promoting. So depending on your niche, you can actually pick a section that you want to start promoting in. So for example, I could just say I want to start promoting books and textbooks. And let's say I want to promote this book right here. All I have to do is click on get link. And then once you get to this page, what you want to do is click on text only, then click on short link. And this right here is actually going to end up being your affiliate link. So you can just copy it. And so now if anyone Anyone clicks on this link and they purchase the book I'm gonna make a commission and there are honestly so many different products that you can promote so just look through and see what you want to start promoting and you're probably wondering how much money you're gonna make from promoting these products so what you can do is click here on help then click on commission income statement and on this page it's gonna show you what commission you make on the products that you promote so for example if you promote Amazon games you're gonna make 20% commission and if you actually want to see how much commission you're making from your links you can click on the home page and it's gonna show you everything like all your earnings but anyways now that I've shown you how to find your own affiliate link and the next thing I want to do is actually share with you a couple of my favorite affiliate links that you can get right now. And the very first one is Rakuten. And basically Rakuten gives you cash back on anything that you buy online. And the best part is that anyone you refer to Rakuten, they're going to make $30 and you're also going to get a $30 commission. And if you actually do want to get an affiliate link to promote Rakuten, just go to the Rakuten website, which will be linked in the description of this video. Then you just click on refer and earn $30. And then you're going to see your affiliate link, which you can use later. And another company you can promote is Honey.
Honey. And you'll get a $10 gift card for anyone that signs up with your link. And to get your affiliate link with Honey, just create an account, then click here, and now you're gonna see your affiliate link. And I'll leave a link for Honey in the description of this video. And something you can also promote, which I really like, is online courses. So for example, if your account is all about cooking, then you can promote a cooking course. And if you're wondering how you can actually get an affiliate link for a course, honestly, just do a quick Google search. For example, you could just search up cooking course affiliate program, and then you should find a bunch of different options there. And speaking of courses, I do have a dropshipping course that teaches you my exact strategy to make over $30,000 in profit per month. So if you want to join the course, I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what you want to promote and some different links, the next thing you want to do is create some kind of website where you can have all your affiliate links on that one page. For example, on all my social media pages, I have this link in my bio, which is sarahfinance.ca. And if you do click on this, you're going to see a bunch of my different affiliate links. So here I have some free stocks and here I have some free Bitcoin. And now I'm going to show you exactly how you can create something very similar to this. So what you're going to be using to create this is Linktree and it's completely free. So first thing you want to do is sign up and just create a Linktree name. So once you sign up, you're going to be brought to this page. So right now it's empty, but anytime you get a new affiliate link, you're just going to add it on this page. The next thing you want to do is copy your Linktree link, which is up here, then paste that link in all your social media bios. And so for example, here on my Pinterest account, you can see that I have the link. Now one thing to mention, unfortunately, is you cannot put a link in your TikTok bio until you have 1000 followers. But anyways, the next step now is to actually create content in order to get people to click on your link. Now obviously there are hundreds of different ways that you could promote your affiliate links and this basically includes using Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram. But first let's start with Pinterest. So honestly Pinterest hasn't changed too much since my last tutorial but it has had some minor changes and there are some improvements that you can make. So anyways here is my Pinterest account. I currently have over 60,000 followers and as you can see I post a lot and I'm also posting very consistently. So now you're probably wondering what types of videos or content do I have to post in order to get people to click on my link. So there are three different types of content that I recommend you post on Pinterest. So the first thing I want to give you more details about is reposting other people's content on your Pinterest account. And I'll show you how easy it is. So for example, if you go on TikTok, you can search for people in your niche. So for example, on finance. So if I search up finance and I find a video that is in my niche, and then what I could end up doing is just reposting that video on my Pinterest. But of course you have to give the person credit. But one thing you never want to do is repost something on your Pinterest account that has someone's face. Because Pinterest can actually take down your account if you have multiple different faces because they'll think that it's a spam account. So it could just be a type of video like this one here. So anyways, if I wanted to repost this on my Pinterest account, what I could do is just copy the link. And next thing I want to do is go to the website, which is snaptick.app. And then what I want to do is actually download the video here without the watermark. And then now I'm able to upload that video to Pinterest. And if you want to know exactly how to upload this, just go to Pinterest, then click on the three dots in the top right corner, click settings, then click on account settings and click on convert to business account. And you have to do this if you want to start posting videos on your account. But anyways, now that you have a Pinterest business account, your homepage should look like this. And next, if you want to upload a video, click on the plus button and then click on idea pin. Then you can post a video and it will show up on your account. And I recommend you do give credit to the owner. Just make sure you put it in the comment section. And so what I recommend you do is post at least three different idea pins every single day. This way your account is going to grow very fast. Now moving on, another thing you can post in the idea pin section Sections, it's just videos you create yourself. So basically you can make your own types of videos and don't worry, you don't have to show your face in these videos. So a type of video you can make is like this one here, which is just basically a random background and some text. And I'm gonna show you right now exactly how you can create a video like this step-by-step. Step. So you have to use the website canva.com to create these videos and I have it linked in the description of this video. So if you sign up using that link, you're gonna actually be able to use Canva for free. Okay, so once you come to this page on Canva, now you can just sign up. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do now is click on create design, then search for TikTok. Okay, so now you have yourself a template. And again, if you want to create something like this video, all you really need to do on Canva is get a really nice background. So for example, if you want to get a sunset background, what you can do is click on elements, then just search sunset. And as you can see here, you're going to have hundreds of different sunsets to pick from. So for example, let's just say I pick this one. Then what you want to do is just right click and then click on set video as background. And there you go. Now you have a background for your TikTok videos. And now when you're finally done, what you can do is just download it. So click on download. And let's say you want to add text to the video. Video, all you have to do is upload it to Pinterest on the idea pin section and here you can just add whatever text you want and I also make videos like this all the time so you can use my Pinterest account as an example okay so moving on now there is another way you can promote affiliate links on Pinterest and that's just by posting pins and basically a pin is just a photo that you post to your account except the purpose of this photo is to promote a particular affiliate link for example I have a pin here on my account that says free $25 stock so if someone clicks on this photo it's gonna lead them to my affiliate link which actually gives them the free $25 
stock. So now I want to show you exactly how you can create a photo just like this one. So again, you're going to have to use Canva, which is linked in the description of the video. Okay, so on Canva here, just click on create design, then search for Pinterest pin. Now click here. And so the first thing I have to do is figure out what affiliate link I want to promote. And I decide I'm going to promote Rakuten for this one. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is click on text, click on add heading. And so what I'm going to just add here is free $30 to shop. Okay, now next I want to add a background. So I'm going to click here on elements then just search for cash. And I'm just going to find a random cash photo here. And now I want to change the transparency to maybe about 20. Okay, so now I want to add kind of like a little square here in the middle. And now I'm going to center it in the middle. Okay, so I basically centered the text here in the square and I made sure that it was very large. Now I'm just going to change the text to something else. Okay, so now I kind of want to add a little bit of cash here just kind of to show emphasis on the free $30. Okay, so I did find a cash stack here. Just something like this would be fine. And then if you did sign up with the link in the description, it would give you the option to download it here for free. So you just click on download and now you'd have the photo. Okay, so now that you have your photo done, the next thing you want to do is upload it to Pinterest. So click on the plus button, then click on pin, then just upload the image. And here you're going to see now it's going to ask you to put a title. And then next, it's going to ask you to add your affiliate link. And next, I just post it and it's going to show up on my account. And I'm going to recommend you post at least four different pins every week. This way you can get a lot of people to click your affiliate links and you're going to make more money. Okay, so moving on now, there is one other way you can promote your affiliate links on Pinterest, which is by running Pinterest ads. So what this means is that you have to pay money in order to get people to see your pins. So for example, a pin I once posted is this one here, and it's just a photo with my affiliate link. And if I do want to run this as an ad so more people can see it, then I can just click on this button, which is promote. But honestly, I highly recommend that you don't start with Pinterest ads in the beginning because the first thing you want to do is just post on your Pinterest account for free. But later on, maybe in a couple of months, if you want to test out something new, then you can start Pinterest ads. So next, I'm going to show you how to use TikTok to make money with affiliate marketing. And if you are looking for an easy way to do TikTok, then I recommend posting videos like this. And again, you can use Canva to make all these types of videos. And any video that you post to Pinterest, you might as well just upload it to TikTok as well. Now, one thing with TikTok is you want to post your own videos. You can't actually repost people's videos on your TikTok because they're not going to do well. But that summarizes TikTok. So now let's move on to Instagram. So to make your life easy, honestly, anything you post on Pinterest and TikTok, you might as well just repost it on Instagram. But if you do have any videos, I recommend you post it in the Instagram Reels section. And this is because Instagram Reels do get a lot of views and actually help you grow your account. And once you do get a good following, it's going to be very easy to promote your affiliate links. For example, I once posted this on my Instagram account and I said free stock. And then I also put my affiliate link so anyone who clicked on that and signed up, I'd make a commission. But honestly, out of all three social media platforms, I do like Pinterest the best and I think it is the easiest. So take advantage of this opportunity while you can. Affiliate marketing just has to be one of the best side hustles since you don't need any money to start. But that's all for this video. I hope it helped you out and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.